For many different reasons, it seems that we do not always do what we should do, what is the best for us. We know that we should be careful about what we eat and exercise, and but often we, I don't know, we don't do it and we go to eat junk food. Uh, unless you come from planet Mars, you know that smoking create can, can lead to cancer and still people are smoking. We human beings are being full of paradox, full of contradiction, and our actions are not necessarily the reflection of what is the best for us. For example, in the 32nd chapter of the book of Exodus, we have the Israelite in the wilderness. They're there because they were freed by God and Moses working in the name of God. And they have survived Pharaoh's army, God provide them holy manna, water, and many, many things. And at this point, Moses went up to a mountain to be in private conversation with God. And he has been there for 40 days. And people begin to worry, maybe panic a little. And they go to Aaron and said, well, we need something. We need a, a God or something we can worship, a representation of our God. We need something. So they cast this big golden calf and they begin to, to worship this. And the people did not forget. They knew that. God was their God, and there was those covenant made in the past, and but they wanted something they can touch. They can they want something they could understand. Maybe something they could somehow control. And it speaks about us human beings in our lives, family, uh, in our society. We often follow the same principle. We don't want necessarily to, I don't know, talk about the comprehensive uh, immigration policy. No, we want a wall. We can see the wall, we can touch the wall, and the wall will save us. The same with our churches. You know, we don't want necessarily to explore different ways to be the church and create something new. No, we want a five step to follow that will guarantee our pews will be filled every Sunday morning. We know that life is complicated, but somehow our knowledge and our action are completely disconnect. We want our God also that a God fit our assumption our expectation, our desires. But this is not the God we're called to be in relationship. This is not a God, or God is not a God that gave us order and we follow blindly. But a God who wants to be in a relationship with us. That means that we have to discover who our God is. We have to Acknowledge that God is not limited to one space, to one place, to one manifestation, but can be found everywhere and cannot be seen. We need to accept that God does not necessarily obey our wills and our demand. And just because we say our prayer that God will do it now, that God will show its, its God's wisdom between 10 and 10.50 on Sunday morning. This is not the God with whom we're called to be in relationship. And yes, it requires patience. It requires trust. That means it's a different way. Not necessarily a better, just different way to be in a relationship. And our, our call is to accept and celebrate this possibility, this openness, this complexity is not a curse, 
but the possibility for us who are all different to be in relationship with this God. Once again, thank you for listening and watching. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stéphane Vermette, and until next time, take care of yourself and bye-bye.